Hey everybody, Jody Matthews here from Pineville, Louisiana. Wanted to show some of the modifications I made to my 14 and a half foot Old Town Saranac canoe. My wife and I fish out of this thing and wanted to set it up a little bit better for that. So I'll just start from the front, work my way back showing you some of the things I did. Hopefully maybe give you some ideas or some tips and tricks on how to accomplish some of the modifications you might want to make on yours. So starting here at the front, of course you gotta like it, make it look mean. So I added the shark teeth decals. Probably doesn't help catch the fish except maybe scare off the little small ones you're just gonna throw back anyway. Who knows? Uh, but what I've got here is a little anchor pulley system. And this works out really, really well. It just hangs right off the front. And as you can see, it's really not bumping or hitting the boat and it's out of the way. Uh, this little eight, $9 thing I got from Academy the way it works is by pulling on the rope, ease it down and it'll hit the bottom. And then when it hits the bottom, you can simply lock it in place by pulling it to the side and letting it forward. You can see there how it pinches the rope and holds it in place. Now, one of the issues I had with this at first was all the rope, got uh, 30 feet of rope there. It's all up in the front passenger's feet. So it was all up in my wife's feet and getting tangled up, uh, getting caught up in whatever other gear, whatever she had sitting up front. So I wanted to keep it out of the way. So I took some cardboard and trimmed it down, trimmed it down, just kind of guessing at it until I got it right. And I made a little template. I took that cardboard template and I cut this out of a piece of plywood, stained it, water sealed it. And what this does is it gives you a little rope storage area so the rope stays up out of the way and out of your feet. Cut that out, made up fun a little decal on uh, Amazon, ordered on there. Life is good, and indeed it is. Um, so this holds all the rope. Like I said, I've got about 25, 30 feet in there, created a little handle, and uh, she can pull this out, work the anchor, whoever's sitting in the front, and uh, after she gets it set, put it in place, and it's out of the way while you're fishing. Works pretty good. Moving around here, uh, that's just the seat, how it came uh, from the canoe factory. Uh, a couple changes I did make though. Uh, this cup holder is really, really shallow. You set a can there or any kind of beverage and waves, things like that, it tips over and falls out. So I took a heat gun, stretched that out a little bit, and I've got these little cup holders. I think they're a couple bucks at Academy, but with shaping it out just a little bit, it actually sits in there and locks into place really well. Uh, added a little eye screw to the side there, that dust off of there. Uh, that's really good for whenever you're going to tie on a hook, uh, tie a new bait to your line. Uh, if you're like me, you probably try to find something to hook that end on where you tie your uh, knot. And sometimes that's a pant leg or my shorts and it ends up setting the hook through and then it's a big mess. So I'm able to put the hook through there, gives me something to pull some tension on to tighten my knot down. Just a handy little add-on that's been very helpful. Coming around the side, I've got the paddle holder for the front. Again, Amazon find, just a few bucks. Locks in there, and that way you don't have the paddle in your feet and in the way. And then coming down the side here, um, most rod and reels nowadays, the uh, rod has just a long round handle. Uh, however, uh, my wife likes this little pistol grip fishing rod, and uh, it doesn't fit in just the regular traditional hole. So I was able to take the hole that was already there notched it out on the sides a little bit so that's able to hold in place but then it was flopping around whenever we're going paddling around so with the existing bolts that were already here i unscrewed this one a little and you can find these things at lowe's uh this little rubber coated wire wrap and it's pretty sturdy she can wrap that around the base and hold the rod in place without it being uh, flopping around while we're paddling moving on back and you can see i took uh the seats out that were in the middle it actually had this over here was a little middle seat. It's got a little storage thing on the side, cup holder. But I found that for trying to put other stuff in here, such as an ice chest, tackle bag, things like that, uh, it just really crimped and cramped the space. So took it out and I put this board in. Still need to go back and stain this uh, and water seal it. I'll do that when the weather's a little bit warmer and not so rainy as it is now. Uh, but a couple things I put on that in doing so, I added these eye bolts here, or eye screw here, and then on the other side there. So my ice chest sets here. I've got some small bungee cords I'm able to hook to the end of it, and that secures it nicely in place so that it's not sliding around while you're fishing. To the side, I've got an extra rod holder, holds three rods, uh, 
and you can see there's little slots in it and things like that to put tools. So again, the idea is when you're paddling along, it just kind of keeps stuff out of the way. Or if you're fishing with extra rod and reels, some place to put it where it's not in your feet and in the bottom of the canoe so that you can fish. And with them upright like that, you, they're not blocking your way to cast and things like that. You just go around them. In the middle here, I made another hole. I've got a, a seven foot rod that I like to use uh, for my worm rig. And I can put that in there and it's close within reach if I need to set it out of the way to make a few strokes with the paddle, things like that to reposition. And that'll hold it just fine and keep it close by. Moving back, um, got this little notch here. I cut it out and sanded it out. What this does is I've got a little five and a half foot uh, rod and reel that I'll keep one end of it down here that has the handle and the reel. I'll slide it up under there a little bit and then it can just lay and rest up here right in this notch. And that kind of keeps it in place without bumping and rod sliding around. So again, same thing here as I did on the front, little cup holder, um, just because the one that comes with it is not real efficient. Got my paddle holder mounted back here for my paddle. And again, to the side, there's another little eye screw for tying hooks on. I added this little cleat here for a couple things. Um, if we need to dock up somewhere, I can tie off there. Um, but more so, I've got a little small one and a half pound claw anchor that if you know it's heavier current or we need to position in a way that the wind or current just isn't cooperating with us, I can tie on my little claw anchor and drop down on the side with the one in the front and that kind of keeps us from spinning in the wind while we fish. Works out pretty good. Um, moving on to the back. This is a pretty neat little bungee cargo strap system. Uh, made for kayaks really, but I wanted something to be able to secure gear down back here, camping gear, things like that, uh, just to hold it down a little bit better. Um, I do uh, plan to canoe camp in this thing and it just kind of gives an extra place to store things and secure them a little bit better. Uh, years ago, I did a trip down Cane River for a few days, camping along uh, the banks and fishing and uh, you know, cooking next to the bank and sleeping in a tent. And it was a lot of fun, plan to do it again here real soon. And you know, kind of want to set this thing up to be able to store stuff and to be able to fish out of. That was the plan and idea. Last little thing I added was this rod holder in the back. Probably wondering what that's for, it's kind of out of the way. Um, fun little thing to do while you're fishing, maybe you pick up an extra fish or especially while you're drifting or you're paddling along. I've got these little short rods that I use. It's probably like a little three foot uh, kitty rod is what it looks like, but I took it and I upgraded those and put some little Zebco Mini, Zebco 33 reels on them. They're great little reels for fishing under docks and piers, things like that. Um, another thing I like to do though, is I stick it back here and I'll leave about five, six feet of line out and just let that little swim bait or whatever I put on there drift in the water behind us. You never know, you could pick up an extra fish that way. So thought I'd give that a try. That's pretty much all the things I've done to it so far. Um, it's taken me a little while. I've been a little side project of mine going on for a few weeks now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load everything up in the canoe and come right back to you and show you what it looks like. All right, got her all loaded down. As you can see, like I said, I've got these handy little paddle holders. Um, really convenient keeping that out of the way. You notice they're kind of at an angle. I played with this different ways to see how I can mount it up. The best way I figured with them angled as they are, it kind of puts the wide end out of the outside the boat, water dripping off, things like that, with the front end just over the inside of the boat. Again, it's out of the way, not a problem for you. Um, down below, I've got a little fold over uh, compact uh, fishing net to scoop up the big ones if we ever get lucky enough to land one. And working on to the back, there as I was showing uh, the ice chest with the bungee cords holding it in place and well secured. A few extra rods in the side. I've got my seven foot rod right there in the middle. We usually don't ever, uh, honestly, bring this many rod and reels when we're fishing, probably just a few, but I wanna have the options in case I wanna bring more, or if I wanna bring one of my kids to sit in the middle on top of the uh, ice chest and be able to fish. So, works out pretty well. Uh, under the back here, I'm able to, with taking that big seat out and putting that board in, I'm able to slide stuff on, up underneath it and kinda, for the most part, get it out of my way. Got a little ice chest right here just to put soft drinks, things like that. Got my tackle bag and worm bag on top there. And down tucked below, this seat in the back. Um, 
That's my little bag I keep my anchor in, that little small one and a half pound claw anchor. So I just keep it tucked out of the way, just on the rare occasion I need it, I can get to it pretty quickly. And down below, there's the other little five and a half foot riding reel sitting in the little notch I made there. So it'll hold steady. Other paddle secured on the side. Bungee secure system in the back. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, we've had a lot of fun in this canoe. And after each trip, I think of something else that I want to add or change to make it more fishable. So far, so good. It's really worked out well. Uh, one thing I do want to add too, um, I saw this other video on YouTube that showed a cool way to make a uh, live well out of an ice chest. That's what I've got going on here. So I can open this up. And if you look on the inside, you see you've got some tubing and your little bubble stone there. I'm going to pause just for a second and come back and show you how I did that. All right, so you see it's just a regular little uh, marine igloo ice chest. And I've got this little bubble box on the front here. Um, it comes with a little metal clip on the back. I took that off and uh, there's a little screw holding it down on the back and then I mounted it. The way I did that, I'm going to flip it over so I can give you a better view here. But this is actually has two stainless screws mounting it down. If you open these compartments on these little things... Uh, beneath these two uh, D batteries, I had to drill a tiny little hole and I put a stainless steel screw in there so it's secured here. And then just up here behind this motor, you take out these two little screws, remove that motor and this piece here, and there's the hole where that clip that came on the back was secured. So I just used that same hole, secured it on there. So it mounts on there, stays on there permanently, don't have to worry about it coming off. Uh, there's my hose coming through. I drilled a tiny hole so that fits in there pretty snug. I do need to go back and seal that, which I'll do here probably pretty soon. And again, then it comes down to my tubing on the inside. I'm going to put some water in here just to show you how well this thing works. All right, so I put just a few inches of water in here just to show you how effective this little thing is and with this mounted right on the front flip the switch turn it on maybe you can hear it running i don't know but you look inside and you've got water moving bubbles everywhere so this keeps the fish fresh keeps them alive for a lot longer and you're not picking dead fish out of a bucket when you get home i almost forgot to include my favorite little add-on for this thing uh it's a little canoe dolly or a kayak trolley whatever you want to call it uh We've carried this thing, the length of football fields are longer to get to the water, uh, especially if we go fish, say places like Indian Creek or things like that, where we're putting in from if we have a long ways to carry it from where we parked. I picked up this little thing, uh, I think I found it for about 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. And basically you can offset it, put it somewhere underneath the middle. There's a strap that I can put around this thing to secure it to the bottom. And it's virtually no weight. It's kind of like when you carry something on a dolly that's really big. It's just a matter of balancing it. And I'll just pick up the handle here and just walk along with it with almost zero weight. Really doesn't feel nearly as heavy as it does when you're carrying it. Uh, the great thing about this is, is I can collapse it once I get to the water and store it on the back of the canoe where it's perfectly out of the way. And there you have it, nothing to it. This thing, I'm telling you, it, it sets in that handle area really, really well, almost like it was made for it collapse it shut set it on each side as you can see it's not touching the canoe it's a little close but uh it secures it well and then i put a little piece of cord around there and tie a loose uh square knot just to secure it in place so it doesn't bump out fall out or float away while we're out fishing so i'm standing out here in the rain uh for the last part of this video so hope you enjoy the sacrifice i'm making I've got this lake well it's not really a lake it's more of a huge pond uh it's in the middle of the neighborhood where I live here in Pineville and it's right across the street from my house. Do a lot of little test runs out here with different setups and things we do. Lots of fun, lots of great little bass, uh, brim, crappie, things like that. Uh, I've done quite a bit of fishing out here. Um, again, you know, we wanna be able to take those things to bayous, creeks, rivers, uh, bigger lakes, things like that. But uh, for the most part, this is where it gets its use. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed my video. Um, hopefully it gives you some ideas, the things you can do with yours to make your canoe or kayak set up a little better for fishing. Thanks, have a good day.